Today, the 16 remaining home cooks are at the iconic City Hall in Pasadena, California, and are about to face another Master Chef team challenge. We come down the steps and then we see a white, long table with white chairs. So we're thinking, who and what are we cooking for? Welcome, everybody. Great to see you guys. You're here at the beautiful Centennial Square in Pasadena, California. A truly heroic setting. Since today, you're going to be cooking for 101 off-duty firefighters, true American heroes. My dad is a Portland firefighter, and if I screw this one up, like, I'm going to be so disappointed in myself. And to help you create your heroic dishes, Walmart has provided a wide array of fresh meat and produce. Each team will have to serve a dish that showcases a 10-ounce New York strip steak of Walmart Choice Premium Beef, which is certified by the USDA for quality. Only one in five steaks is good enough to be called Walmart Choice Premium Beef. It's aged for flavor and tenderness. For a guy who lives on the grill, I didn't even know Walmart had all these steaks, so they, they look pretty good. I can't wait to get them on the grill and, and serve them out. You'll need to make two side dishes using the fresh Walmart produce you see here, which includes carrots, bell peppers, zucchini, mushrooms, and asparagus. You'll also make a delicious sauce to complement your steak. We only use the freshest top of the line ingredients here on MasterChef. Make sure your dishes reflect those standards. You'll have an hour and a half to cook a plate worthy of these heroes. And this isn't a buffet, it's a banquet. You'll have waiters. We're treating these heroes with the respect they deserve. You should too. Bethy and Beanie, you had the best dishes in the previous challenge, so you'll be team captains today. It's time to pick your teams. Both of you, please come over. Put them on, please. Bethy, you get to pick first. I have a couple people that I work well with and that I know are hard workers. And bottom line, I want a team that's hard workers. So the person I'm choosing, I already know. We don't even have to talk. We know what the other person's doing. So that would be Lynn. Lynn. Right away, I'm like, hey, I want to be on Bethy's team with Lynn over Beamy. I just feel that as a cook, she's just way more experienced. OK, Beamy. Jordan. Jordan. Good. Let's go. I'm not too excited to be on Beamy's team, but I'm going to try my hardest. I'm not trying any less. I'm here to win. And so my choice is definitely Jesse. Jesse. Wow. So I'm going to go with Mr. Eddie Jackson over there. Eddie. Good. Welcome to the red team. James. James. Third choice. Beamy. Who's it going to be, please? Luca. Luca. Howard. Howard. Natasha. Let's go. Natasha. Let's go. Johnny. Welcome to the blue team. Down to the wire. Five left. Oh, I'm going with Bree. Bree, welcome to the red team. Bethy. Savannah. I'm going to have her on sauces with James. So. Wow. OK, Bimi. Three left. Yeah. Let's go through the weaknesses and strengths. Um, Start off with Beth. She doesn't strike me as someone who even eats, never mind steak. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Chrissy. I'm like, she eats. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Holy <laughs> Would you like some gloves, or should we just take him out now? I'm going to up. <laughs> so, who's it going to be? It sucks standing there with Kathy and Chrissy. I'm going with Beth. But when Beamy called my name, I was even more disappointed. I wanted to be on Bethy's team. Bethy, tough decision. Who's it going to be? I'm going to go with Chrissy. Chrissy. What is going on? I don't in know. These team picks. They saved the best for last. What can I say? I guess you and me, we see something they don't see. So prove them wrong. Welcome to the red team. Bethy? Yeah? Because you had the best cupcakes in the last challenge, we're giving you another advantage in this challenge. I like the sound of that. You have the chance to swap one member of your team with one member of Beanie's team. Please don't take Eddie or Jordan. The steak is going to be the star of the dish, and these are the guys that I need to make that star shine. If I steal this person, they're going to have a really rough time on the grill. Wow. So I am choosing Eddie. Oh, Bethy. <laughs> you took Eddie. I'm like, no! Because I already know who's coming in return. Who are you choosing in exchange for Eddie? I'm choosing Chrissy. Wow, Chrissy. I get Chrissy. And just so happens, Chrissy's just mad at me because I called her a big girl. Get your ass over there. So now, 
she really added even more dysfunction to my team. It's like, oh, my goodness. I am feeling pretty darn good about my team. Like, I feel like we're stacked right now. So, one stunning steak, two amazing sides, and a delicious sauce. Your 90 minutes starts now. Each team has to prepare a strip steak complete with a sauce and two sides for 101 heroic off-duty firefighters who will be arriving in just 90 minutes. The team with the least number of votes will face the dreaded pressure test. All right, guys, I want to hear ideas. Mushrooms, mushrooms and mushrooms. steak, classic oh. pairing. I think a cauliflower puree. Dude, what kind of sauce are we going with? Red wine sauce. And if there's no red wine? We use chicken stock. We don't have Okay, you guys go, let's okay. go, let's make it happen. The red team has decided to accompany their steak with sauteed mushrooms, a cauliflower puree, and a simple reduction sauce, while the red team have made a group decision on their menu. Let's boil the potatoes first, and I also want some red peppers in there. Over on the blue team, Bethy is making all of the decisions. I want you on the grill, you on the grill, and I want you on the grill. And you are doing the sauce. I want the best dang sauce you've ever made. I've got two sauces to mind. I'm thinking a balsamic reduction or a chimichurri. So you guys go ahead and start on the meat. Okay. Bethy has decided that the blue team will make potatoes with red peppers and either a chimichurri or a balsamic reduction sauce to serve with their steak. So, predictions, Gordon, who's going to win? I'm going to go for the underdog. I'm going for the red team. Are you really? Yeah. Wow. Graham, who do you think is going to win? I think red team has a lot of heart and soul. The cauliflower puree, to me, I just think that for this weather and these guys, it might be a little heavy. Once we get this grill hot, we'll be good. Oh, there we go. What's your strategy on the meat? First of all, get my rub on that. Instantly, and they fire up that first grill and get it five, six hundred degrees and absolutely char an amazing sear. And then, literally, as those firefighters arrive, I'll last them and then get everybody synchronized almost like a conveyor belt. Ten stunning plates at a time. You want to start doing the rub? Now, you can go ahead and start cutting open the steaks. I work on the seeds. Cup of salt, quarter cup of garlic powder, quarter cup of black pepper. The blue team has started putting a rub on their steaks, but the red team is going to rely on their sauce for flavor. Red team, Captain. I don't give me any sides. What are we doing? Yes, cauliflower puree, a nice reduction sauce for the steaks. Sauteed mushrooms are going to go with the steak. Is there a rub on the steak? Rub? A rub? No, simple. We're letting the steak speak for itself. Why? It's a choice steak. Because they're going to have a beautiful sauce. So no seasoning at all. Guys, we're outside. So if there's one thing that goes well on the grill is what? A rub. Use your brain. Yeah. Rub, season, grill, taste. Yeah. Working out. You got one hour of prep left until the firefighters arrive. Whatever you do, don't let these embers burn out. Guys, 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 huddle in. Listen, let's focus. You know what we're doing here. These are choice steaks. Yeah, it's not yeah. like we've got a cheap steak that we need to add and bring life to it. Let's keep up the good work. The 101 firefighters are just one hour away. Eddie, can you keep an eye on that pepper up there? Yeah, I got you. What's the sauce? I'm going to create two different sauces, a reduced balsamic sauce, and I'm going to do a classic chimichurri. I only want one sauce. I mean, I've never heard any so ridiculous all my life. Just one stunning sauce. Bethy. Yeah. Bethy got me started on two different sauces. Chimichurri was the first thing in my mind. Obviously, trying to do two sauces at once, stupid. What sauce are you serving? I'm debating between two sauces. Okay, so you don't know what you're doing. Unbelievable. So here's the thing. Stop wasting time. OK. Bethy, I'm talking to you. No. I promise you it's going to be one stunning sauce. Unbelievable. Red team, blue team, you have 45 minutes left until the firefighters arrive. With time running out, Beamy's hands-off approach to leadership is leading to chaos. Listen to me. It's really time consuming, and them smaller mushrooms are going to cook faster than the big ones. It's all right, because the little ones will just but be part of it. But the little ones are going to cook faster. Let's go now. Let's go. We slice them. We slice them in half. This is literally the perfect example of there being way too many cooks in the kitchen. Can I see the steak the way I want and then test it out? And by cooks in the kitchen, I mean way too many people who don't know their in the kitchen. So, Gord, is Bimmy in control of the situation? So, I thought he was in control, but it's almost like his team are now starting to control him. I think we're really kind of pushing the limits with, with this group of home cooks. Banqueting, it's like the medical school of restaurants. Mm -hmm. It's so much harder to put out quality food At for 100 time. people mm -hmm. rather Absolutely. than a table of four. It's a big risk. They might fall completely on their face. There's 101 firefighters, 101 heroes, deserving of an incredible steak. There's not a lot of room for error. No. Holy That's a hot fire. Red team, blue team, 30 minutes to go. 
until the firefighters arrive. Thank you. With just 30 minutes remaining for the blue and red teams to prepare their steak and two side dishes. From across Los Angeles County, 101 specially invited off-duty firefighters are on their way. But Gordon finds a potential emergency on the blue team that could cost them the challenge. Blue team! How are you doing, Chef? Yes, Chef. Bethy! Yeah? You've got 101 firefighters coming in for lunch. There's not even a steak seared yet. It's a banquet, and they're all being served at the same time. Right. Now, even I would not attempt to cook 101 steaks all at the same time. Okay. Can you at least start searing some sure, steaks we off? We got it, we got it, we got it going on. Thank you, Chef. Right now, we're kind of doing the cauliflower mash. We've got some leeks in there, we've got some garlic, we've got some milk. It's going to come out beautiful, so. Trust me, babe. Don't What's the cumin uh, yeah, in the cauliflower uh, puree? I, I don't think cumin's a great idea. Beth is like one of those hipster people in Philly that I can't stand. Nutmeg might be more we brilliant than cumin. Nutmeg, so that's why I suggested the cumin. You know what, Beth? I'm sick of you already. Yeah, I wouldn't do that yet. Let's keep chopping what's in this colander. Good luck with that. Me. Good luck with that. I realize it's a team challenge, but I feel responsible to give my opinion as much as possible on these dishes because I don't think Beamy can. Is that chunky? No, small, no small just food. can you please back off for one second, Beth? Please. But people on that team don't like to be told what to do. With just 15 minutes remaining until the 101 firefighters arrive... Here, taste the chimichurri real quick. Team Captain Bethy has finally made the decision to go with the chimichurri sauce. A little more salt, James. And James rushes to make enough in time. I should have jumped on the chimichurri right away. I knew it was the better sauce, but I gotta get on it now if I wanna get enough chimichurri made for all these steaks for all these firefighters. Last three minutes. The firefighters are just around the corner. Come on, all right, everybody, how are we looking on those steaks? Good. Good. With just moments to go, the red and blue teams are struggling to finish their steak in two sides. And the 101 hungry firemen are arriving for their Master Chef Heroes Banquet. Guys, you owe these heroes the best dish you have ever made. It's definitely one of the best experiences ever to have these fire trucks pull up and just to know that we have to honor these guys and girls and cook them an awesome meal. Let's go. Red team, blue team. Let's go, guys. My dad, he's a Portland firefighter, and countless times there'd be a massive fire and we'd be worried, OK, is he going to come home tonight? Makes me realize how proud I am of him. My dad is an American hero. Firefighters, we would like to thank all you heroes for your bravery and your service and the amazing job that you do. This is a very small token for us, but we're hoping that both the red team and the blue team can deliver some phenomenal dishes for your exceptional lunch today and show you all how grateful we are for your amazing, undeniable services. Ladies and gentlemen, please take a seat. Thank you. With all 101 firefighters seated, they'll be served a steak entree from each team and vote for which team's dish was the best. Let's go, let's go, let's go. How are we doing? Good, good. The blue team is serving their steak topped with a chimichurri sauce, grilled asparagus, and potatoes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, let's go, guys. You need to go last. And the red team is serving their steak with a simple reduction sauce, sautéed mushrooms, and a cauliflower puree. Quick, 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 quick. Come on, guys. There needs to be a system. Look at me, be me. Ten plates laid out. Ten plates, ten plates, ten plates, ten plates. Bang, in 15 minutes, you're done. Yes, sir. Come on, guys. You've made a wintry dish. It'll be winter by the time you get it out of here. While the red team struggles to get their first entree out. Service for two. Service for two. The blue team is sending out plates quickly. Three servers! Three servers! Service service for two. Five. Service, service, service! Service for two! But they're making simple mistakes, and they've sent out a plate missing a key ingredient of their dish. So what are you guys thinking, red or blue? Which one did you like better? I like the seasoning one, but I love the chimichurri sauce. You did? Uh -huh. I'm missing something what? on mine, but... You didn't get any of the chimichurri sauce. Seven. All right, hold on a second. Let me go get you some. Oh, thanks. Hang tight. Good job, guys. 
up, Drew? Leave me some chimichurri sauce on this. We got to pick up. Give me one more plate on the fly. We need chimichurri sauce on this one. Come on. Move your ass and make another plate. Do I speak English? OK. Come on. Just minutes into the firefighter's banquet service. Give me some chimichurri sauce on this. Come on. And Joe is already frustrated with the blue team's lack of consistency plating their dish. We want consistency on all these plates. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. How are we doing? With the chimichurri sauce on the steak, Joe reserves the team's plate. Sorry about that. Hopefully that'll be the only incomplete plate we have. Any preferences? We got the red team and the blue team. Yeah, red. Red? What'd yeah. you like about the red? Had more flavor. The steak was cooked better. Blue had potential, but it was too dry. For too me. dry. How about down here? What'd you like? I, I really enjoyed the sauce on red. Although the red team's steak is going down well with the firefighters, their lack of teamwork is slowing down their service, and the hungry guests are patiently waiting for their steak entrees to arrive. Keep moving, Chrissy, keep moving. Over here, Chrissy, behind me. Yell at me again. Please, please, please. please. Well, now we can drop them right there. Let's go. There was no steak on the plate. It don't matter. Then move. Hey, red team, look at me. Oh, all of you, you're the captain. Yes. Right now, pull it back together and finish strong, OK? Yes, chef. As a team. Yes, chef. Lay out the template. Mushrooms, cauliflower, steak last, sauce at last minute. Let's over go. here, Chrissy. Come on, Chrissy, I need you over here. I need you over here putting okay. the mushrooms. Let's go. Come on, let's go, let's go. Come on, service. Service, please. Let's go pick up. Halfway through service, Team Captain Beamy finally has his team in line and are getting their steak entrees out to the remaining 50 firefighters that have yet to be served. Right there, mushrooms. Come on, service. Service, ready? Pick up, pick up. Come on, let's finish up strong, let's go. Service. Hustle, 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 hustle. We need chimichurri sauce on this one. And then we just need two more people. Two servers, please. That's it. Woo! Your last plate, Red Team, come on. Service. With the last guest served, our home cooks wait nervously for the firefighters to finish their banquet and declare a winner. The steaks tasted great, and I enjoyed them very much. Hands down, blue is way better than red. <laughs> I like the red best. Steaks were very delicious. Which dish did you like better, the blue team or the red team? The blue. What didn't you like about the red team's dish? Um, wasn't quite sure what this is. It's cauliflower puree. Right? <laughs> Holy hell. Firefighters, line up and vote for the team that you think cooked you the best dish. I'm going crazy right now. We can't tell what color they're pushing up there. So we just have to wait forever. I don't know who they're picking, but I see one guy sort of lean towards one way, gives me the thumbs up. And I'm like, okay, so maybe that's our side, you know? I'm gonna put my money on the red team. You like the red team, huh? Yeah, a dreadful start, but they really pulled it back at the last minute. The sear on the red team mistakes were incredible. We're all freaking out. We need this. We don't want to go to a pressure test because we have such a strong team. We don't want to have to cook against each other. Firefighters votes cast. Gordon reveals the winner. The winning team of this amazing challenge with 68 of the 101 firefighters vote is... Congratulations! find out we won. I was so excited. I knew my dad would be proud. I was so proud of my team. We came up with an amazing dish, and I think the pressure is completely off at this point. Well done, blue team. The red team will face the dreaded pressure test. It's embarrassing. I think uh, my team had uh, poor leadership, and uh, I'm going to put the blame on myself. Blue team, come on through here and walk through these amazing heroes. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Red team, clean down the kitchens. I'll see you back at the MasterChef kitchen. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Good, good. Thanks a lot. I'm proud everybody tried their best 100%, but just face it, we made the wrong choices, period. I'm proud of our food. I think we put out good food. Well, how can